false, before we get started, I used to be in a podcast of my own about the goings on of the tribe, and it was called No There's No More Milk with Elk. True or false? Uh false. That's false. I never did that and I never would. Hey, it's your friendly neighborhood caveman elk here, the multiverse's only barefoot brawling heavyweight wrestling champion ever. And I'm here with two very special friends, their podcast hosts, Nikki and Kat. Introduce yourselves, ladies. Hi, guys. I'm Kat. Hi, I'm Nikki. Now, this Nikki Cat podcast, it's a very important show. It's called All That with Nikki and Cat. And just give a real quick brief uh, synopsis of what the podcast is about. Um, so, we run a podcast. Our episodes come out every Tuesday, and it is um, health and wellness based, but we also um, have a very strong backbone with personal growth. Um, so, we have guests on um, every so often to just kind of real people, real stories, real relatable is, is definitely our, our slogan there. So, today we're going to take a look at a great fight scene from the Jim Henson Classic Labyrinth. It's going to be a big war scene. There's going to be rocks. There's going to be ghouls. There's going to be big Bigfoot monsters. It's going to be great. Another real quick thing, true or false, if I was a Muppet, I'd be Kermit the Frog. False. 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 Who would I be? Ludo. Ludo. No, I'd be Swedish Chef, but you were close. <laughs> Let's roll the footage. All right, so here we go. This is Ludo, correct? Yes. Yes, Yes. this is My Ludo. Yeah. Okay, what do you like about Ludo? Oh, uh, you know, he's just big and strong. He's kind of like you. Oh, yeah. thank you very much. I like these two very much. Uh, Nikki, who's your favorite character in this thing? Probably Ludo. Ludo, yes. he's great. Yes. He controls the rocks, I yes. understand. Yeah. yeah, he's very good. He looks like a very big, powerful guy. I'll tell you what I like about Ludo right off the bat. His fingers. Now, I don't know if you've seen the Elk Show, but I'm very partial to having super fingers. Ludo has three very strong fingers, which is much better than being a human being. Yeah. So here we've got some cannonballs being shot by the little fellas. Now, these little guys have armor. Do you think that this armor is gonna hold up against the rocks and this little dog person here? I feel like their armor's pretty good, considering their body shape. Correct. Um, there's definitely some holes in there, I think. I think they find they managed to find the holes a little bit. This is one of my favorite movies, so oh, it's I know, one of your favorite I know movies, it's huh? Coming. They're gonna get them. Cool. Do, do you <laughs> like puppets, or do you just like uh, thinking that you could get your little brother taken away by a goblin king? Well, um, well my little brother is um, significantly younger than me. He's 11 years younger than me, so maybe that is some. <laughs> maybe some, that's part of it. Some underlying reason. You why heard I... it here first. You see, the cannonball was a little guy. Now I don't think that that's a good job for a living thing to have because you could get brain trauma. I don't know if you're familiar with CTE, but that's a brain trauma that a lot of uh, fighters get. Now, I won't because my head's made mostly of rocks. I wouldn't recommend it for a little fella. That's not a job that I would have. No, brain uh, trauma is a real thing. Yeah. yeah. Yes. <laughs> Protect that mental health, y'all. Yes. So here it looks like they're fighting. They're going to fight the house. They're trying to knock the house over. Ludo crawling through the top of it. I have a hard time believing that he has the ability to climb up there. Look at the ladder. The ladder was very small. To think that Ludo climbed up that ladder is a little bit of a stretch for me but it, uh it was the finger strength it was yes. the finger strength yeah. very good you're learning so much already thank you yes yeah so another thing that i like about ludo is his teeth teeth are good for biting it's an underutilized weapon yeah when you're fighting somebody i think that teeth you grab them you bite their nose off you can bite their ears off you can bite their hair you can do so much with teeth you can bite their hair you, yeah i never thought yeah. about it like yeah that. so here we got ludo he's pulling he's Call calling rocks. these rocks these little guys now they lined up just like a bowling pin set up here. And yes, that's what I thought was gonna happen. Because you can't, little guys in armor suits can't beat rocks. That's what no, I'm learning no. here. Right. Because rocks are heavy. And I'm very heavy myself. And that's part of it. You get a rock rolling down a hill and you can't stop it. You get an elk rolling in the ring, you can't stop him. It's, it's, it goes hand in hand. Ooh. Now this is a pretty looking lady. I like her. She's yeah. got a nice haircut. She's got a good staff. She looks like she's in charge of the whole operation. She. I think we should give it like 30 seconds. Okay. Before we <laughs> diagnose the he or she. All These right. These pants in this movie. Oh, that lady wears some good pants? She wears yeah. some good pants. I don't like wearing pants. I like to wear my, uh, my leather skirt. I made it out of the skins of some of my enemies and some of the dinosaurs that I've eaten over the time. 
that I've been alive. So my legs can move, my legs can stretch, my legs can bend. You put them in a pair of pants and it feels like I'm being grabbed by really weak people. Have yeah. you ever tried yoga pants? I've never tried yoga pants, but I heard they're very good for flexibility. Yes. This un very unrealistic. Sarah's been wearing jeans this entire movie. Yeah, I don't like yeah. denim. It gives me a rash. How about you? Do you yeah. like denim? No. No, nobody likes denim. Nobody likes denim. Well, that Nobody likes denim. Well, that's very exciting. We got to see some ghouls. We got to see some Bigfoots. And we got to see some pretty ladies. Did you guys learn anything? Did I give you some good tips that you can take with you moving forward? Oh, yeah, yes, absolutely. Definitely. So, like, first and foremost, fingers. Yeah. Definitely quality over quantity. Yes, quality yeah. over quantity. Yeah, it doesn't yes. matter how many you have as long as they're big and powerful. As long yes. as they're big and powerful. And, and pants. I, pants. Yes, I was going to say, pants. I learned yoga that pants. yoga pants are the way to go. They're flexible, they're good, and, 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 and that's the way to do it, because I like to wear skirts. That's, that's what yeah. I like to well, wear. Well, if you don't have a dinosaur seamstress in the area, you know, you can definitely check out your, your local retail store, get you some yoga pants. Yes, I think that could take me to the next level, yes. so I can be the class champion forever For wearing yoga forever. pants. Yes. Woo! Yes. yes. Thanks for watching, and ladies, again, just let the people know where they can find you and what your podcast is about so that they can become members of the All That with Nikki and Cat tribe. Yes, absolutely. So, um, All That with Nikki and Cat, you can find us um, right on our website, allthatwithnikkiandcat.com. We have new episodes that come out every Tuesday, so make sure that you check that out. Health, wellness, and personal growth is definitely the name of the game, um, so feel free to check us out on our website. And remember, new videos come out every Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and join the tribe. And as always, let's hear it for me.